there, everybody. This is Jamie Scott Octaya over at JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, your newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. And this is our special ITW edition. Joining me today is industry expert and my good friend, Mr. Philip Marangella. He's, of course, the CMO of Edge Connects. Philip, welcome to JSA TV again. Hey, Jamie, good to see you virtually, but uh, always good to chat with you on the industry and and uh, and so forth. Yeah, absolutely, and and it's an interesting time of year. We're gearing up for ITW twenty one, and uh, and also uh, amazing time of year for Edge Connects. We had an eventful eighteen months. Tell us about uh, your recent activity and, and current business focus. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Jamie. Uh, you know, busy as always, right? Uh, we had our acquisition uh, last year where we acquired by EQT. And again, you know what? You know, spinning out from that was was um, the ability to invest in our growth and expansion. So, a number of expansions in Latin America and Asia with the big joint venture with the Adani Group. Um, there's a lot of work underway there as we build out our kind of data center platform in India. Um, we have just announced our new managing director for Asia Pac, uh, who's come on board, and we'll. We'll kind of continue to lead our growth and expansion in Asia. So stay tuned there. Lots more good news coming there. Um, and we continue to build out where we are in, in uh, North America and Europe, adding more dots. We just announced this, this week um, our acquisition in Israel of a data center provider. So adding Tel Aviv to our ex ever expanding uh, global footprint. Um, but at the end of the day, it's all driven by our customers, right? And so that's that's the fun part. Um, as we kind of continue to kind of build out, scale out, giving the customers both the edge and the hyperscale uh, solutions around the world. Yeah, and, and you guys have also been uh, engaged in some big name partnerships as well. Yeah, absolutely. So um, look, we've, we've had a longstanding relationship with, with folks like Rackspace and Zenlayer and Megaport and so forth. Um, and, and we announced this past week, uh, Opus Interactive, you know, another managed service provider. And, and the, why that's important, right, is you really think about as, as we build out these hybrid multi-cloud uh, environments, right, that enterprises want. And it's, it's bringing together the kind of ecosystem, right, in terms of the cloud providers, obviously the hyperscalers that we all support. Um, and then the adjacent technology service providers from security to um storage to network and so forth and then what's important with uh, folks like opus is they're the integrator right that can kind of pick and choose the best of breed providers uh we work together to bring those integrated solutions local to the enterprises and the edge markets where the enterprises are and look that saves tremendous amount of money um uh, by bringing it the cloud to the customer rather than the other way around obviously increased performance due to the lower latency you know, and everybody wins in that. The the, the CIO, um, our ecosystem partners, and so forth. And so that's what we're really trying to do. We just launched a interactive ebook to that effect that kind of talks about the various use cases and the benefits. So I'm kind of excited about that. So lots going on with partners, with markets, and you know, kind of global expansion. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. Global expansion. I mean, yeah. it's an amazing growth trajectory across the globe. So tell us a little bit about what's driving this growth. Uh, again, it's our customers, right? Um, and, and, you know, and I think, you know, we've talked about this before, Jamie, around like the pandemic and how has that affected our business? Is it good? Is it bad? I mean, unfortunately, I mean, it, you know, we're still in the midst of it and, and it doesn't seem to be slowing down, but as kind of like our homes have become the new edge, right? Everybody's working from home kids are studying or gaming from home or shopping more from home and so forth. There's just this tremendous growth in kind of the traffic and the data that's traversing the internet, right? And so, um, and then at the same time, as companies are adapting and everybody's working from home, they're kind of accelerating their kind of digital transformation projects, right? And so you're, you're really in the midst for us as a data center provider and as an industry of trying to really help re-architect the internet, right? Much more distributed architectures, data centers more and more at the edge, but still growing at the core. And it's it's kind of 
working together with the networks to solve for all these bottlenecks that are starting to arise because of so much going on in the industry, right? And cloud continues to scale and grow, um, but particularly internationally, right? Like it's kind of well established here in the States, but more emerging markets. That's why you see some of the moves that we're making internationally. Um, and then the edge continues to, to propagate and markets like Portland, where we're looking at our third data center, right? Which were, you know, these edge markets were small, but now they're coming into kind of regional hubs in their own right. And so it's the whole spectrum from that hyper local to hyper scale that you see driving the need for us to kind of build out kind of our footprint. And, and talking about that international footprint, uh, you mentioned Adani, uh, India, of course, uh, mm -hmm. Spain, Chile, any comments there? Any, any yeah. You, we, yeah, you. thanks for reminding me. Uh, you kind of forget there's so many things going on. We did announce Barcelona. That's well underway uh the construction there should be ready by the end of the year already starting to fill up um south america santiago filled up before we even opened up right and okay. so um you know you'll look to see us continue to expand where we are as i said we're adding more dots stay tuned look out here for for news on latin america asia and certainly uh, EMEA as well. So uh, all regions are going to see expansions for us going forward. And I can't help but to ask this question now that I have you in the hot seat. Uh -oh. um, but what I love is Edge Connects, you know, your focus obviously on customers. You mentioned that um, uh, five times already. And, and uh, I know it's, it's uh, up for, you know, it's the heart of Edge Connects. Sure. Um, and um you know, also your employees, you know, you're, you're doing right for the planet. You really have uh, this, this, this customers, people, planet mission. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, look, that, that comes from Randy, our CEO, it comes from the top, right? His thing is, his fundamental focus is always doing right by our customers, always taking care of our employees and making sure we're doing everything in a sustainable way, right? And if he says, if you, fo if you do those three things right, everything else takes care of itself. I know that's a kind of simplified notion, but I think ultimately that's how we go about, like that's our North Star, right? And how we operate as a company and how we operate and interact with each other. Um, and um, that's what makes it a great place to be, right? And we're, like I, I've, I've been here over five years and I've been in the industry for very long and love being here and, and um, you know, building out this kind of platform, um, building out this community, Right. And you always talk about your JSA family, Jamie, and, and it's the same thing here. Right. And that's what's uh, that's what makes it fun coming into work every day. Right. Um, and uh, or to your bedroom every day where you do your work <laughs> now, but whatever. So uh, um, but yeah, I mean, it's crazy times, as you can tell, but it's 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 fun times because it's a great place to be. And, and we, we all love what we do and working with each other. So, I mean, it sounds like apple pie and whatever but it's 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 the truth i'm i've drunk the kool-aid <laughs> yeah, it, it's true I, we feel it as an extension to your team uh yeah. it, uh it's it's um it's, it's your fabric um love it and yep. so okay last question you've sure. had such an amazing growth and so many strong initiatives and all fronts taking over the, the world uh what's next <laughs> uh you know, I'm looking past my monitor at my wall of, of, of press releases and all the things that's got, I mean, it's, it's filled up. Right. So uh, I've, I've, you know, buckled in and, and um, uh, ready to like launch this rocket ship. And uh, there's a lot, a lot coming. So, you know, you know, stay tuned uh, on the, the PR wires um, you know, and, uh, look at the end of the day, I hope we can get together. Right. I mean, that's, that's, I think we're all chomping at the bit. I know IT, mm -hmm. ITW is coming up, makes it easy. It's in my backyard. I don't have to get on the plane so I can just, you know, drive to it. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, hopefully like PTC, I, I, we do another one of these Jamie and, and Hawaii. I, I think everybody misses that show. Um, and, um, in the, in the nice weather that time of year being on the East coast, but, um, you know, so, you know, lots to come and hopefully things get back to normal next year, uh, you know, and, and, and see how it goes. But, uh, yeah, good times coming. Yeah, we're sending that out there into the universe. Want, yeah. want, want that uh, well received there. And, and uh, you know, ITW, 
you guys hear, heard it here first. Edge Connects will be there. Um, and I uh, hope to see you all at ITW and upcoming events like PTC. Thank you so much, Philip, for joining us. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking. Mm -hmm.